The Harvest Festival has finally started and we're getting into a pretty serious arc, I hope. The one thing that I was a little bit disappointed is that there's no combat between students allowed during the festival or you get DQ, but who's to say people are going to be looking the entire time, right? I hope we get some little infighting between the students. Welcome back to another episode of Mighty My Seed Makun. We're getting an episode closer to what the most recent episode is, but slowly, we're getting there. Okay, the most bizarre thing that happened last episode was during the reintro not the introduction but like the misfits came back they all got different designs everyone looks so cool right and their powers it's a little bit hidden right we saw the training but we didn't get to see the entire thing everybody's gonna hide in their own little secret and clara might be hiding the biggest secret of them all why is she in that little costume i don't what well, the last thing we saw of ex elizabeth and clara doing was just holding poses to I don't know, increase their seduction. And the whole point of Ex-Elizabeth was she's like the super sexy one, and then Clara has got the element of surprise where she gets you with the cuteness. I guess that costume is kind of cute, but what the fuck is going on there? I hope that it's going to pay off pretty well. Everybody, again, has really cool designs. We don't know what their powers are, but Azaz kind of showed us a little bit. So he's kind of punching now. I've never seen him actually use his fists. He's only used his fire to kind of just like use the fire like that, but... He's actually applying them to his fist. This is the training with Balam that we didn't really completely see. But if you look at his design, doesn't he look like a Kenpo master now? Some kind of like Kung Fu expert? I don't know. Something about that martial art looking robe. The way that he has his hair tied back and the fact that he's using punches. Mm, we, might little, we might see some, you know, new powers, new... Uh, yeah, pretty much powers from everybody. Uh, let's get started with today's episode. Their entire thing is... Like, didn't they cheat or something in the previous years? I feel like they're gonna make Azaz and Sabra do all the work, and then they'll kill Steel at the end to get the points. So he seems to be... to take him back. Huh? Some kind of boss class monster? He was instructing some sheltered demon baby. Instructing. A teacher. One of the tutors. Probably Balam, right? Because Azaz and Sabra were trained by Balam. They didn't explicitly say their sensei's name, did they? <laughs> they got the entire thing on TV. Goddamn. And Balan should, uh, they're commentating the entire thing. How convenient! Balan can't see the Dorodoro brothers right now. Ice. Kerori? Kerori! Summoning! Beasts! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! She's tamed them all! The fuck? They're just coming to her. She, she is the summoning queen, right? So, does that all count as points? Oh god, I thought they were offering themselves, and then the pink maestro just coordinates them, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's right, he can communicate to them. This pair, this duo has extremely, like, very favorable skills in this harvest arc. <laughs> look at, man, look at that throne she's sitting on. Damn. Oh. Yes, man. Be gone. Yo! When did she become this cool? No pun intended. What's her weapon? This cool queen-like aura around her? What? <laughs> I mean... Oh, I mean, she's always had that cuteness, yeah? Everyone attempts and I love this my beauty. <laughs> uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> so, using her innate just beautifulness, she's using this to, you know, paint them all. I think she's even tamed the pink maestro. Lashes, what happened? How are you stuck like that? Eiko's just taking care of She thinks that's Iruma. <laughs> kind of hair looks like Iruma. What? So why are they... And him and Jazz are both like masked up. And he's actually wearing a muzzle. What was their training with the... What was his name? Furu Furu? What's with their like butler like outfits? What happened to them, man? I'm so curious. Wait, is that Jazz? Is that Jazz? No. Is he in like a disguise? No, that's not his powers. Unless they got new powers. Did he just steal all their... Did he just steal all their work? 
But acting as their leader? Wait, hold up. I feel like Alucard is still one step ahead. Is he playing? Jazz or with the teacher? What's wait, 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 what was that? Huh? Wait, was that jazz? I I don't know. We went to an entire different place. You got set up. You got set up. You got set up. That was jazz then. Is that, is that just an outfit? Or was he just not jazz in it entirely? No, no, no. He got the rings. So how is he able to transform like this? New power? <laughs> They're running this entire fucking show. Is it just like a one-time mask or is that part of his actual... Oh, we're actually seeing his face. He was wearing a mask before. Yeah, you got played. Well, you already gave it up. You just got played. You, that's dumb. Yeah, you, you, you got played, dude. No violence. Of, oh, that's the thing that I don't like. Because I want violence between them. I want them to fight. Why is the mask up again, though? What's up with the mask and the outfits? It has to do something with their training. So what did you do in hell with Furu Furu? We, we hardly got to see anything from them. And why does this Furu Furu guy have like a little bib, this little clothing that says catastrophe? It makes it sound really dangerous. Huh? I thought it was hell. You were messaging help us. What's going on? So the the ask for help was fake or what happened afterwards? Cause, I, cause we saw them like hanging upside down from like the floating islands, but now they're just partying. The fuck? <laughs> they're so meek around, you know. <laughs> Big booba <booba> girls. <laughs> yeah, this is training. Don't worry about it. I guess networking is very valuable, but... Oh, okay. The whole theme of Jazz and Alucard's training is just being very cunning, very schemy, but all we're doing is just partying in a strip club. <laughs> so why do they text them saying, help us? How did that happen? And then the party's over. They got sold. Was this your plan? Now get out of this predicament by yourself? That's why the detective, you know, help us. Man, <laughs> Dash, what do you mean? That's all the bills on him. No, no. This fucking dude. Okay. It's part of your training. Get yourself out of this situation. We some kind of teacher you are, you're just human trap- Demon trafficking. Well, okay, hard labor time. So you gotta do like, do the dishes and just work here forever. That's why they have the outfit, cause they're still like indebted to this like club. <laughs> That's they okay, it makes sense. Now, I wonder how much of this is actually real training. I feel like this dude is the laziest fucking teacher. <laughs> Way lazier than Bachiko in the beginning. <laughs> but surely, surely there is some kind of training element involved, right? Something that we're not seeing, just like how Bachiko was trolling us in the beginning. Unless, part timer hell. <laughs> it still doesn't explain the mask, though. Is the mask just an aesthetic touch to make them seem more, I don't know, cunning? We lost all of them. Jesus. Oh my god. Wait, that's her school anthem. <laughs> they're drunk and they're singing our school anthem. <laughs> Poor Jazz, man. Part-time or hell. How much of this is actual training, though? I mean, they do look much different. And they do have much more cunning skills. So working at this club as part-timers is the training. But the networking part too, okay. Oh, a sleight of hand, you saw that little scam? Yeah. Little magic tricks. Okay. So, it's more than just, you know, brute force fighting to train. You know, they got some other skill sets involved now. 
Oh, coin flip. Heads or tails? Oh, or which hand? Uh, really? What if, no, what if he always had two coins in both hands? I mean, each hand though. <laughs> He's not free until... <laughs> I think like, this is the ultimate trick, because he probably has coins on both hands, even though it looks like he only flipped one. And for them to recognize that or realize that is when they realize their training is over. <laughs> guys, think beyond that. You guys are getting scammed. It's not just left or right. He's always gonna pick the opposite hand. Next time he flips the coin, you say... Neither? No, you just say they're in both hands. Oh, Alcor and Jazz kind of bonding. Oh. Yeah, hard to see any kind of emotion from you. Because he just talks very robotic-like. You have weaknesses? What are they? For real, for real? <laughs> These translations <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious for not the reason why Jazz is finding it hilarious. But the fact that Alec said, for real, for real? Oh, God. <laughs> I really think Furu Furu just has it in both hands, man. <laughs> for real? He keeps saying for real. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Ah, that's where the mask is coming from. It's like a poker face. Let's hide your... You need to get some shades too, man. Oh, kind of scary. Bro, we've guessed wrong that many days in a row? Assuming it's a 50-50, that is incredibly unlucky. Incredibly unlucky. Assuming it's a fair 50-50, but it's not. It's not. All right, I'm telling you, man, it's in both hands. It's in both hands. The coin like splits in half or some shit. Mm. <laughs> Guys, think outside the box. Is he gonna steal the coin? Wait, wait, what? Wait, he stole the coin. Huh? Furufu never said it had to be in his hand. Uh, uh, okay. He, uh, sure. Yeah. Reading between the lines. Okay. I really wanted him to show that it was in both hands the entire time, though. Just steal the coin from him. Yeah, it's a clever solution. That's really thinking outside the box. Yeah. No, that is. We'll become scam gods. Everybody's like hard just training their fucking techniques are you gonna start crying are you a baby no he's just proud of them i thought he was like crying like a kid no he's actually proud you out scammed me i'm so proud of you kids but there were two coins like i said oh or not he stole it back when I didn't. My mind is being blown. That's when you failed. Damn. <laughs> so I'm gonna start crying like I, these kids my student there did so well and do you fucking dumbasses. <laughs> so they still haven't got ya. That's it. They still haven't won yet. They gotta <laughs> after the harvest festival to <laughs> come back. I thought this episode would more central be like focused on uh, Sabru and Azaz, and it was in the beginning, and then it suddenly just shifted top topics entirely to uh, Alucard and Jazz. So it looks like the formula of this is to, I guess, every episode or so, we're going to get the flashback of the training of how each student went through and all the you know tolls and despair that went through, and then the new powers they got. So it's kind of cool how. You know how I'm kind of like focusing on uh, like the training has to be purely combat stuff. Like they got to learn new skills. They got to learn new, I don't know, new powers. You got to like new martial arts or whatever. But Alucard and Az, oh, sorry, Alucard and Jazz were more like mental training, to be honest. 
I guess these skills are pretty useful. I guess I'm too shonen brain dead to think that, no, it's always gotta be just brute force fighting stuff. But no, there's more nuance to that. For example, the Harvest Festival, there isn't fighting within the students allowed, which still makes me a little bit upset because I want that to fight. I want an actual fucking duel, right? But no, there's other aspects of this that's being taken into account. For example, scamming everybody, right? So perfect combo for them. The training was pretty interesting. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite type of flashback or training. It felt a little bit slow at times, but it is interesting how they're taking a different spin on training and not just focusing on the combat, but more of like mental awareness and, you know, just being suave and sleight of hand and scamming and magic tricks and whatnot. It's kind of funny that they still haven't, you know, found the coin just yet. Somehow we got to get the scam. We got to scam that guy back. But why does this big thing say disaster? It's like disaster on still. I, I got no clue about that. I, I, I thought that he'd be the stereotypical, you know, shonen fighting dude, but clearly I was wrong. He scammed me too, but hey. If you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube. I go push my channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.